Okay, so I'm going to use this webmin interface to install the PPTP server. So I'm going to go to the terminal and then I'm going to type this command to change the user. And now I am logged in as root. So apt install pptpd. And then yes. So in one of my previous video, I showed you the complete process of installation of PPTP server and uh, creating users in the command line. But in this video, we will just install this uh, using the command. So it's installed status pptpd. It's inactive. Okay. So let's do system CTL enable pptpd and then uh, system ctl start pptpd and let's check the status again okay now it's active and running okay so i had to click on this refresh modules so it's checking for unusable webmin modules found 53 installed uh, applications and 51 not installed so let's go back again and check you can see pptp vpn server is here and uh, under server is showing up no so it shows under the networking so click on pptp vpn and you can uh, see all the features here uh, what i showed you in the command line so we changed the server ip address or you can say we set up the server ip address and uh, the dhcp range you can consider dhcp but these are the ips which are going to be assigned by the vpn servers so we configure everything here and uh, so ip address for the server of end of connection so that is going to be 10.0.0.196 the ip address of this machine or you can use the domain name as well if you have uh, the fqdn and then there is going to be ips uh, going to be assigned to the clients so let's set this range from 1 to 50 and uh, save and then apply configuration and then under ppp options this is one thing if you remember we changed sorry we looked up for this name pptpd because this is going to be uh, let's say the FQDN for the PPTP server. So it has to be always PPTPD. Do not change this one. Okay. And then under PPP accounts, so it's the PP uh, triple P dash chap file. If you guys remember, so you can create a new user here and uh, let's check the last thing. Sorry, it's okay. It's active connection. So there is no active connection yet. So it's not going to show anything. Okay. I'm going to create uh, a user, let's say VPN user, and uh, then I'm going to set the password VPN user1234. And then, so if I keep this allow any, it's going to get the IP address from that list. Let me show you here. So, yeah, it's going to get the IP address and it, it will be under uh 17216 121.1 or maybe 2 or maybe 50. so let's connect this to my computer here and uh, let's create a new connection set up a new connection set up a connection for vpn and create a new connection so choose this and i'm gonna say a webmin or let's just type the ip address so because i have uh, another one with the same name and here we are going to type uh, the fqdn or the ip address what we set in the file so it's going to be 10.0.0.196 and create okay so uh, the ip address you put in is this one this is going to be the server address and it uh, it's the van address 
it's the van address of this server okay okay now let's try connecting with this one connect and then i created vpn user and the password is vpn user one two three four action needed verifying your sign in completing the connection okay the connection is completed and uh, let's check the ip address here so under adopter options this one is connected see the details so it says 172.16.121.1 so the ip we set uh here you can see 172.16.121.1 okay so i'm going to disconnect this one and I'm going to change something here under PPVP accounts in case if I want to set a static IP address. So let's try a total different series. So I'm going to assign 191.68.200.200. Save. And go back. And then I'm going to try connecting this again. So the username is saved. It's going to connect. So let's check here you can see this is uh this is the client address which is connected and the server vpn address and it's showing the old address what i've been connected to so i'm gonna go to this one and uh let's check the ip address again so this is the vpn connection right you can see it's 192.168.200.200 the ip i set for this one and another thing maybe you guys are noticing or not there is no internet access why because we did not set any uh, vpn uh, sorry the firewall rules for the vpn server if you want to learn about that then you need to uh, first watch the complete video where i set up the vpn server using the command line and uh, we will try this here just now in the fire linux firewall so first let me just disconnect this because my internet access is gone okay so to work with the webmin itself you're going to go into the linux firewall and then we're uh, here we are going to add a rule under net so before adding the rule let me uh, just try connecting one more time and uh, I have the ping going on here you can see uh, this is timed out because the rule is not yet added the VPN is connected but I'm not able to use the internet so to do that let me first disconnect this and yeah you're going into the uh, linux firewall and then network address address translation and then you are going to find packet after routing post routing okay and then here you're going to add a rule which is going to be for masquerade and then you're going to select equals in the outgoing interface and then select the correct interface i don't know what are these interfaces but my correct interface is ens33 and then here as well ens33 and then create this rule all you need to just set masquerade and then equals to outgoing interface and then create and after that we are going to apply the configuration and let me try connecting this one more time and here it's going uh the continuous ping to 8.8.8.8 .8 so you can see the vpn is connected and i can still ping this server the google dns server so this is the rule you use to allow the internet access or if you want to try with the commands line you can just watch my uh, other video of uh, pptp installation so i have mentioned everything in that like how these rules are gonna work or how you can set up these rules so yeah that's it for today
um hopefully you like this video make sure you hit the like button and subscribe the channel i'll see you in the next video bye bye